In this video, I am going to show how to move autocorrect entries from Word 2003 to Word 2010. Right now, this computer has Word 2003. Here it is. You can see the version here. I am going to create some 5 autocorrect entries in Word 2003 I am going to transfer the same to Word 2010 Ok, let's create some autocorrect entries These are the five sentences I'm going to use with autocorrect. First, let's enter them in autocorrect. Okay, to create an autocorrect entry, you have to select the whole sentence and then go to insert and there you'll find an option for called auto text. You have to click that and in that you will have autocorrect. I'm just going to make an entry here. Let it be type 1 and add. Likewise, I'm going to add all the remaining sentences. five autocorrect entries let me show you how this works just type in the word we entered for autocorrect and just give a space and that word will appear just a space and the thing will appear See, this makes typing a very lot easier. You can make custom sentences that you use a lot of times by just typing one or two letters. Like this, you can have several thousand entries in Word 2003. Now let's see where the autocorrect file is stored. In Word 2003, I'm minimizing this. You have to go to Users, Username, then you have to show hidden files. You have to go to App Data, Roaming. Microsoft Office and if you sort it via date you can see the autocorrect list file it is MS41033 in my case uh, it varies depending upon the language but once you compare the date you can confirm which autocorrect file has been altered at late. It's a file with .acl extension actually. Autocorrect list file. Let's make a copy of this file.
Okay, we took a backup of the autocorrect file associated with Word 2003. Now we have to go to Word 2010. Now I have removed the Word 2003 installation files completely and I have installed a 64 bit Word 2010. The earlier version of 2003 was 32 bits. Now I have installed a 64 bit version of Word and let's try to transfer the auto, auto text entries that you have already saved here to Word 2010. Now I am opening Word 2010. The autocorrect entries that were made already in Word 2003 should not work here and it didn't. So now we are going to transfer the settings to Word 2010. And I'm opening C colon. In that users, username, and you have to show hidden files. Go to app data, roaming, Microsoft, office, and here is the autocorrect file. The date and time you can note. Now let's make a sample entry in Word 2010. The autocorrect options in Word 2010 are located here. File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect Options. Now we are going to make a rough entry. locate the ACL file used by Word 2010. Okay, close, close, close. And you can see actually two autocorrect files have been created here. Both the same timing. So what you have to do is, we have to replace the MSO1033 file that is already existing here with the one we have already saved here. Once we replace the ACL file, autocorrect entries in Word 2010 should, actually in Word 2003 should work in Word 2010. Okay, right now I am copying it and replacing the file in Word 2010. Replace. Okay, it's replaced now. So now I am going to attempt the autocorrect entries that were entered in Word 2003 and it should work fine. Type 1, yes. And the autocorrect entries are working in Word 2010-64 bit. This is actually a very simple way, but when I searched in net, I can't find a very simple solution like this. So I think this video might be useful for transferring autocorrect entries from Word 2003 to Word 2010. Thanks for watching the video.
Thank you. See you later. Bye.